What's up guys, Safashraf Asher here. Today we're going to be unboxing the Fitbit Versa Free smartwatch. So this is a health orientated smartwatch. So yeah, let's just get straight into it. Let's read the back of the box real quick. As it says, pace and distance with built-in GPS, 24-7 heart rate and active zone minutes, stores and plays music, get call, text and app notifications. And you even have the Google Assistant and Alexa built in. So that'll be pretty useful. We'll see how that goes. So yeah, let's get this open. So we've got this. All right, did rip the box a little bit. So we do have a sleeve, put that on the side for now. Um, and then this basically just opens like a... Oh, okay, that, that is actually a pretty nice unboxing experience. Wait, let's try that again. That is pretty good. So we are greeted with the watch in the center. I'm just gonna pull this out, I guess. As you can see, we'll put this to the side for now. We also get our bands. This is actually a pretty nice unboxing experience. So we do have the two... We do have the band, so we do get one um, in case you have a larger wrist size. As you can see here, it is the larger version, so we'll put this on the side. Got your usual product information. We won't be reading that, of course, you know me. I do not read that stuff. Welcome to Fitbit family. And I'm guessing in here we will have the charging accessories, so we'll just take that out. This is, this is strange. How will this charge? Okay, so... This is probably one of them ones that it's not wireless charging, but you just magnetically. Okay, that's pretty good. You magnetically clip it on. Put that to the side. Let's look at the actual watch now. So peel off the plastic. All right, so that looks pretty clean and it automatically turns on, which is always nice to see. But yeah, we'll put that to the side if just check if there's anything else in the box. We do actually have the quick start guide right here. And I did just hear a watch make a sound. So it says, so we'll probably have to download the actual Fitbit app. So we'll do that in a second. But we'll just look around the box. So it just has the start guide. But yeah, unboxing experience. That was pretty good. So yeah, let's shift our focus on to the actual watch now. So just to give you guys a quick look around around the watch, I've noticed that there aren't actually any buttons on the whole watch, which is pretty surprising. We do have a nice touch screen at the front here, and I just did download the tick, uh, Fitbit app, which we'll check around in a second. But band feels really nice. This is actually quite similar to the Apple Watch band, like how it feels. It might actually be a little bit nicer and softer than the Apple Watch band. We do have the gold accent on this specific watch. And at the back, we do have the range of sensors and the charging connecting pins. I think this is made out of glass, which might make it a bit weak if you do drop this like this. But I don't think many people will do that. It might get scratches over time. But yeah, now that we actually have the Fitbit app that is installing on my phone, I'll get to that and then we'll see how this pairs and how easy it is to do. Alright, so I just had to real quick make an account. So we do have the Versa free, so I'm just going to click that. We'll press set up and we'll see if it does come up to it. There, obviously, there's going to be a lot of things to agree. Connect the back of your Versa free to a magnetic charging cable until it snaps into place. All right. So we need to let it charge and enable lo location. Okay, this is quite a lot to do. Right, we'll go back into the Fitbit app. Press set up again. Connect. Press agree again let it charge okay so we're probably gonna have to let this charge we'll continue without location for now okay so this was pretty annoying but i did it forced me to actually give it my location access all the time so that is something worrying but yeah we'll just move on for now and continue this up so just enter the code that is actually on the watch which i have plugged in since it is telling me to keep it on charge we'll bring it in here for now anyway just to see how it pairs but yeah, I don't know why it was actually forcing me to give it my location. Alright, so we finally moved on. Pairing process is a bit long, I'm not going to lie. Okay, so we're going to update the watch now. So the watch is updating right now, but after that it will be useful. But make sure to subscribe because I will be coming out with a full review later this month. But yeah, what do you guys think? The setup process was a bit of a hassle, but overall the watch does feel nice, it does feel solid. And if I just compare it to one of my app watches, as you can see, they do look like quite similar. You, They definitely did take a book out of Apple's pages, or page out of Apple's book, obviously. But 
yeah they do look quite similar but what do you guys think will you be buying one of these and make sure to subscribe because i will be coming out with a full review soon but yeah while this updates thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video peace